Hello everyone and welcome back. It is time to get our uh, this winter's batch of rocks into step three. It's actually been eight and a half days. So I was going to do it at seven days, didn't get around to it. Didn't get around to it yesterday, so now this morning I want to get this done. Uh, we'll make this video a little bit quicker. You guys have watched me bring these outside, dump them in the colander and get things rinsed a little bit, and then I bring them in and wash them. I'll do that, and I don't have to put that on camera because um, a 12-minute video of doing rocks gets a little bit old sometimes. So I will get these cleaned up before I bring them out and do that initial rinse. I thought we'll take a look at the slurry here. Don't mind the mess on the table. We've been getting all the stuff in that we didn't have for homemade soap. We've got a ton of stuff for it, but there was some stuff for different recipes that Melissa wanted. and. We ordered that and it's been coming in here. They're starting to feel smoother. Oh, making a mess. Yeah, I'm gonna go get these rinsed off. Or you know, just the initial rinse and then we'll come in and uh, wash these up and see what they look like. Not doing that right. <laughs> we'll find out in another couple weeks. Well, now that we have a uh, all the slurry dumped outside, because remember you never want to put that down your sink drain. We can get these washed up. They're starting to take the shape now. They're not going to change much as far as size going down. We have lost a lot of the volume because the rocks have been ground down, but they pretty much are taking on their finished look. I mean, look at this one. This one is that one that has this crevice in it, but it's just too pretty of a rock to, uh, I mean, look at the lines and then the quartz on top. Just a really nice rock. This is that one, I believe, I'm not sure, that had all the purples in it. Look how much smaller this has gotten. Still has pretty colors in it though. Look at this one here with the two totally different colors. I don't know how good you can see that, but that's pretty neat. This is that clear quartz one. Getting smaller. It's not as clear as it was when it was bigger either. Unless there's another piece in here. Well, now that we got the rocks all washed up. I'm going to put in some ceramic media and once, like I said last time, I'm switching to the smaller because I like that better, especially in the final couple of steps. And that's just going to keep the rocks from always banging against each other. This will roll in there and the grit will just get in between them because the rocks can actually bruise themselves. And now we're going to put our grit in there, and this time it is a 500 silicon carbide. I can definitely see that the volume has went down, so instead of doing 11, we'll just do 10. Now 
our water level is good. I mean, there's like this little rock is poking up and some of the uh, ceramic media was, so we're good there. Just make sure that everything is clean in here again so you get a good seal. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. I realize that we went through this one a lot quicker. Uh, if you are just coming into this and you're watching step three, go back and watch step one and step two because I, I'm more detailed about how you have to clean those rocks and everything like that, but I didn't want to get too monotonous. Because, I mean, it is. It's just monotonously the same thing over and over again except for you keep dropping that grit down smaller and smaller. So now we'll leave this in here for... Yeah, five to seven days. I'll probably leave it in for seven days. I don't really want to go over that now. Uh, there's no reason to. The rocks are not going to get much smaller with this small of a grit. And then we'll get it into the final step and um, see what our results are. But for right now, plug this thing in and we'll come back in a week. I will see you guys on the next video.